frame one, yeah? It's gonna be frame one. super important for getting out of Bayo combos, I feel like. Yeah, but also if you do it too close to the top. Uh, well, yeah. Oops, a doodle. <laughs> that's, that's, Oops. You just finished the combo for him. Ooh, all right. Oh. Already starting out with the gunman. Jasmine sitting at almost 80% unanswered. That I would say peculiar forward smash. Almost uncharacteristic of Fawn. Yeah, I think Fawn maybe maybe feeling themselves a little bit too too fast in this in this game one. And starting to pay for it. Jasmine yeah. already starting to uh, even up these percentages. And there it is. There's the can reversal coming out. Def diffusing the situation and putting Fawn back in neutral. Oh. Yo, hold on, man. Jasmine actually knew the exact timing of the Mexican gun. That's extremely impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they're all in a similar window and which time is active enough that you can kind of fudge the numbers. Yeah, can, 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 can. What a wait by Fawn, waiting out the witch time. Oh, now Fawn's starting to get some juggles of their own. Jasmine trying to get out of out of the way with uh, Ooh. with the ABK. Did you see that the, the bat with it mm -hmm. saved Jasmine's skin right there? What a confirm by Fawn. Okay, this is this is the can control we know that for. This is what was missing during those earlier string matches, and oh, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And we've already seen just the way that Fawn is setting up the can. We've seen Jasmine try to disengage from disadvantage before with uh, downward ADK. Wow, actually got the off the gunman, but not able to convert. But, I mean, just the way that Fawn is able to cover so much of the stage, Jasmine wasn't able to downward ABK to safety because Fawn was there, or the can is there. Jasmine able to get the first stock finally for 135. You know, you got to be careful with these combos. And unfortunately, not able to get any big conversions while Fawn had the can out. I feel like that's kind of got to be what Jasmine is looking for, is try to look for these bigger combo starters while the can is out so that Fawn isn't able to break out as easily. Okay. I actually do like Fawn not going for the can right there, recognizing that the reward off of it was not going to be anything. That was a really smart from Fawn. Mm -hmm. Got which time, but was also grabbing the ledge at the exact same moment. And because he slowly down, they're able to use the invincibility to its entirety just way up mm -hmm. Oh! Got a, a little too saucy with that F smash and instead found one of their own. Play pigeon. <gasps> oh, okay. wow. <laughs> I was just like, I, I was so excited to, to kill, but that should do it. A lot of charge on that up smash. Definitely going to be doing it. Yo, is one finger drumming? <laughs> I mean, Duck Hunt victory theme such a bop. It's, it, it, is is it? I, I guess it has xylophone. I in guess it. That's, that's what they're what they're <laughs> doing. See what Jazzy's looking at for the counter pick, hovering over small battlefield, which. I don't know about just because I feel like that's Fawn's like favorite stage, especially when they're playing Duck Hunt. Hello? What track is this? It's, uh, I know it's from uh, Fatal Fury series. Some ungodly long name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta, gotta Google that one later. <laughs> There's a whole paragraph for a song title. The freaking Shakespeare sonnet. Right. Anyway, uh, getting to this actual... Oh, speaking of Shakespeare sonnets, long names. Right. This Bayo combo might end up taking a paragraph of its own if it actually gets started, but never given the chance. Man, 
Spawn is able to break out of Bayo combos like few people I've ever seen. Yeah, and even without like having Can on deck. Oh. Actually catches the ABK too. Here comes the Can. I never thought I would I could fall in love with an inanimate object like a can, but the okay. way it fawn dances. Can my beloved. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, that was so close! That was almost so good for Jasmine. Like that would have been an equalizer and a half. But yeah. I mean, 91% this isn't the end of the world for Jasmine. Oh, Alright. Certainly. All right. Con consolation prize. Able to get the, the second down smash, and Jasmine able to bring this right back to even. Not able to find much. I feel like Jasmine just hasn't been able to find these like super long Bayo combos very much. I mean, one thing that we're also seeing is that when Jasmine tries to navigate around the can, because Bayo's base movement is kind of mediocre, they still put themselves in like a spot to get up air or something like that. Fun did those can shots to the beat of the music. That was very uh, satisfying. Oh, Speaking of Let's satisfying, there's none to be found here. There none to be found. Lear less satisfying than a downer barely not killing him. The player just recovers. And there we go. See, Jasmine was not ready for that gunman timing. That one was one of the slow ones. <laughs> the long lasting neutral air. Wasn't ready for the timing on that no. gunman either. Oh my god, the play <laughs> pitching. <laughs> Yo, Jasmine ate a whole combo while Fawn was still in hit stun. <laughs> what a conversion with the down angle F tilt. Fawn just ready for those and keeping Jasmine in the corner. I'm gonna see if they're able to get something. Jab just barely not able oh. to do it, but getting some guns of yeah. their own. <laughs> yeah, uh. It, Doing what I wish I could do with that duck hunt <laughs> right. all those years ago. Okay, though, 27%. Keep in mind, even though we've been seeing has been kind of get tossed around for a lot of this, this is still Bayo here. Given the right chance, oh, it's so hard with that can! And it's such a, you can't even bait it out easily like other characters frame more options. I tried to use the throw invincibility, but Fawn delayed the can just a little bit too much. Go oh. can't not gonna do it quite yet. No, no, no. That one, yeah, no. Very sneaky setup, keeping the... Aww. Aww. Yeah, no, listen, we're all friends here. We are. Except for Numbers and Helper, apparently. <laughs> no! <laughs> they, they, their uh, blood feud going on or underneath the surface. We're on. That was not a friendly set. Oh my god. Oh. That was a roast. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I think actually we're going to be doing a caster swap right about now. A uh, little bit of a shame because, man, these have been some hype games, as we, especially as we're getting later into bracket. So I really hope all of you people tune in, or stay tuned rather, because things are just going to get better and better. I mean, Absolutely. people that we've never seen before are starting to make these runs, and mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like we're going to see un unstoppable forces meeting immovable objects time and time again, and I'm just curious to see who's going to come out on top. I'm excited to see the the Xeno, Xeno Classics, you know, like John and Dill uh, defend defend our home turf against our invaders. Against the, the ravaging Meta Knight horde. <laughs> right. I know it's only one of them, but it feels like it's a horde. It's a horde. <laughs> All right. Anyway, also you can follow me on Twitter at SaltyFun underscore SSB. Do it. Stay tuned.